will ask President Netanyahu to put on the table the proofs and the evidence that there is a control and command center for the Palestinian resistance in Shifa Hospital. We have heard these claims since 2009. We have twice been threatened to leave Shifa Hospital in 2009 and 2014 because the Israelis were going to bomb it because it was a command center. Now, I have been working in Shifa for 16 years, 16 years on and off, in very hectic periods, very hectic periods. I've been able to walk freely around. I take lots of pictures, I video film, I've been sleeping in the hospital during bombardment. I've been all over. I've never been restricted, controlled. Nobody has ever controlled my, my picture and documentation material. So, well, if there is a command center, show us. You have pictures and x-ray films of all Gaza, all the tunnels, everything. So why is it that these 16 years of threats that Shifa is a command center has not been given any evidence at all that it de facto is. Now, if it was a military command center, I would not work there because I obey to the Geneva Convention, number one. Number two, if the Israelis claim that this is a mixed military civilian target, because obviously it is civilian with tens of thousands of people gathering there and 2,000 patients being treated. If it is a mixed military civilian target, the civilian precautions take priority over the military. So in accordance with the Geneva Convention, you can't bomb hospitals unless they have very clear military uh, uh, functions. So to me, this is all part of this immense Im intimidation of the Palestinian people in Gaza. They are threatened with leaflets from the planes and the helicopters. They are threatened by phone calls. They are threatened by, you know, if you stay in northern Gaza now, we define you as a terrorist. What is this? 2023, two and a half million, 2.2 million people, civilian, unarmed people being killed. A child killed every 10 minutes so far today. The number of killed Palestinian children is 3,324, and there are missing 2,062 Palestinian children in, in, in Gaza. That's 5,300 Palestinian children killed in three weeks. And I asked President Biden, what kind of president are you? And the vice president, do you have children? Do you accept that this is a war? Do you accept that your supported Israeli army is killing by the thousands children? For heaven's sake, let's have a ceasefire. Let's lift the siege of Gaza. Let's let in supplies and international teams to work. My colleagues are overburdened. They have worked night and day for three weeks now. This has to stop. I don't need to, to use the word genocide. It's enough to say mass murder of civilians. It has 